How's it going, fellow Detroit Red Wings fans? Going back to looking at potential draft selections for the Red Wings, we have one coming from a league most of us are very familiar with, and actually a team we are very familiar with. We are talking about Rogla and the SHL and the Austrian Marco Casper. But before we get into Casper, his style of play, what people are saying about him, and if he is a good fit for the Wings at 8th overall, I want to give a shout out to Jacob Olson, we've had tremendous support from you guys and want to start thanking you guys for making the Red Wing Nation community a community. So if you want to get a shout out, make sure you subscribe and join the discussion with lots of other great fans of this team and sport. So going back to Casper, standing at 6 feet 1 inch, 187 pounds, he's not a big kid but is known for having a physical aspect to his game even against men in the SHL. Recording a total of 7 goals, 4 assists for 11 points in 46 SHL games played, and adding on 6 points in 13 playoff games. While they aren't out of this world numbers, comparing him to his peers, he did actually well, being the top scorer for U18 players. He also proved to be a reliable center as the season went on, his average time on ice went up ending the season with 11 minutes and 44 seconds a night, increasing to 14 minutes and 16 seconds a night in the playoffs. Which is not a lot of time, but for a U18 player in the SHL, it is. Especially in a role with such responsibilities as a center. As for Casper's skills, he does a lot of things right. He has a good hockey IQ that allows him to make plays offensively and defensively. He uses his size to outmuscle opponents both breaking into the zone or to break up plays and get the puck moving in the other direction. He also possesses elite skating, his ability to both get up to speed and be agile enough to make a defender's life difficult makes him a very offensively capable center. He could set up plays and break down the opposition's offense, but what are other analysts saying about Casper? Coming from Corey Pronman of The Athletic. Casper has a strong 6 foot 1 frame, isn't afraid to attack the hard areas, and can win some battles versus men as a 17 year old. Casper attacks with speed and skill, and while he can pull up to make a play or use his hard shot. Also coming from Josh Tesler at Smart Hockey, Casper is one of my favorite prospects in this class. He has everything that you want in a power forward, the grit, the decision making, and the speed. Casper has the potential to be a top 6 forward in the NHL, and his grit will intrigue plenty of teams. If an NHL team is looking to obtain a well-rounded power forward who can be annoying in high danger situations with his reach, Casper is the guy. Once again, just focusing on his skills and style of play, he is a guaranteed player in this league. The only question is, how good of a player can he become? He has the skills to possibly be playing and helping a team in the NHL in the next year or two. But he doesn't appear to have the skills or high level of production to guarantee him as a first or second line guy. The ceiling seems to be right now a middle six forward that can fill in on the top lines when needed but not on a healthy lineup. The Red Wings are in need of top forwards, especially at center. If he pans out well, there's no doubt Casper would be a great second line center. He's got the style of play that Eisenman likes, and certainly has the roots in the right place. He'll be playing with Niederbach and Wallander in Rogla next season, as long as Wallander doesn't move over to North America, which he is not expected to. So, should the Red Wings take him at 8? Well, he's supposed to go later in the draft, potentially going higher, but mostly being scouted to go in the middle to late teens of the first round. If Eisenman trades down a couple of picks to grab assets from another team, then I see no problem with him selecting Casper. But to select Casper at 8? I think Eiserman needs to have the comfort with him that he had with selecting Cider. We know he will go off the board to select players he deems as the best. I'm not sold on Casper being that player, and if Nazar, Savoy, Nemec, or Juracek is available, I would see them as the better selections. What do you guys think? Is Casper our guy? Should we look to draft a different player? Let us know down below. Red Wing Nation was designed and created to be a community of Red Wings fans that can come together and talk about all things Red Wings. 
If you like this video, make sure you drop a like. That way we make for content that you like. And lastly, if you are a fan of Red Wing Nation and want to support the channel, make sure you check out our Etsy store. We have very cool jerseys that you can check out as well as shirts and hats. And until next time, lights on the red light district.